Uh, Professor Ochogo, now from let's let's have a review of what happened yesterday. You know, mm. we talked about this issue and uh, the need for protesters to actually protest, but to do it in an orderly and a peaceful manner. Mm. But from what happened yesterday, what can you say to what happened? Um, I think what happened yesterday was most unfortunate, and I, I think that um, we must commend and salute our intelligence community for spotting these, you know, from the very onset um, and why they had cautioned that there shouldn't be protest. Um, and I think likely that has to do with the level of fragility, you know, of our respective communities. What I mean by fragility is that um, on a normal day, for example, you go through Yanya, Yanya is riotous. Mm -hmm. So when you have a protest, there is no way, you know, you're going to stop places like Nyanya Maraba, you know, from not escalating into violence. I, I think that is one particular component that we need to look at. And I think that is why um, the government and all responsible stakeholders came out to say, no, there is no need for protest at this time, because once the situation is too bad, you know, for protest to happen. There's so much of um, perhaps hunger and anger. So, and then when you fuel those two things, it's a combustion you're going to have. Um, it is not surprising, therefore, that um, what happened happened in terms of the protest. But I can tell you that um, if you situate the context within which the protest took place, why there are areas there were peaceful protests, for example, like in Plateau State, and it was successfully so. In other states, you cannot say it. And you look at how the protests um, graduated and escalated from protests to perhaps riot and most likely uprising. So you can see that three layers of how protests have graduated, you know, from no protest. normal protests to riot to uprising. And why do I say uprising? Uprising in the sense that um, if you look at Kanu, you look at the, the, the target of the supposed protesters or rioters, they are looking at the artery of government at the subnational level. They are all on the motion to the state house, which is the artery of any government. And there is no responsible government that will watch itself, you know, have been, been taken down 